everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. We're going to do a price comparison video today. I've got six big bullion dealers, including the Royal Mint, lined up in a table looking at price comparisons to buy gold Britannias, sovereigns, silver Britannias, and silver kilo bars. There's some interesting data in here to unpack. I do want to caveat this by saying this is just a small representative sample of what I consider to be the biggest and best bullion dealers. I say best with a caveat because, of course, the prices here in the Royal Mint, as you can see, giant red column would indicate that they're maybe not the best. But what they are is a very commonly looked at source for people buying for the first time. And if you have bought for the first time and you don't know that you can get it cheaper elsewhere, well, this video is for you, and I think the data can speak for itself. But there are other dealers out there that can be looked at. Of course, as well, to caveat, I filmed this on Tuesday morning when gold had just breached £1,800 an ounce. I don't know what the price will be when you watch this video, but this is a snapshot of this time where you can see what the dealer's premiums are for the different types of coins and metals. Again, as well, another caveat, dealers have a whole range of different products. You know, there are plenty out there, and I could have been here for weeks cataloguing something but then everything would have been out of date because it would have taken me too long to catalog. So it's just a short snapshot of a very restricted product line just to get an idea of which dealers are the best at the moment in terms of premiums and prices. Now I've got a bit of a traffic light system going here as you can see. Uh, the very, very green green is the best price in a particular category. The lighter green is second. The uh, yellow category is third and fourth. The sort of light red is fifth and then the final point is sixth. And what I've done is given those a point scoring of one, two, three and a half, five and six, and then we add them all up and we see which has got the best prices overall. So we can see Atkinson's are doing very well here with a score of seven, then Chard's at 10, shortly followed by Hatton Garden Metals at 11, Baird & Co at 15, Bullion Pie Post at 16, and the Royal Mint coming in dead last at 24. What I think is very interesting though from this data is that we don't have one dealer winning every single category across the board. We've got Atkinson's lowest for a one ounce gold Britannia. We've got Chard's the lowest for a one ounce silver Britannia. Hatton Garden Metals, the lowest for sovereigns. And Bullion by Post of all people, the lowest for kilo silver bars, which I think was interesting. The only one that didn't get a, uh, or the only two dealers that I should say that didn't get a big nice green were the Royal Mint and Baird & Co. Now we'll talk a little bit more about this giant red in a moment, but what I do want to just very quickly say is that all of these dealers are ones that I have used before and my data points that I've put into this video are based on the best value products, not the brand new 2024 Britannias. There's always a little bit of a price comparison um, price comparison look at those types of products when they put them out. And often there can be quite good deals to be had because they drive all of themselves down. There we are, I was momentary wondering what was going on there. Now we can see just at the time of filming, gold has dipped down a little bit and silver a little bit. But when I put this together, it was all within the space of about 10, 15 minutes and gold was at 1800. So for a one ounce gold Britannia, we can see here Atkinson's are the best at 1.58% over spot. That's really good. Now these are pre-owned post-2012 Britannia, so they're the 999 versions of them. That's a really low premium. I used to be buying those from dealers at three or 4% over spot price. So to have that come down, I think is quite telling of where the market is right now. The next was, of course, Chards at 2.31. A little bit more expensive because Chards doesn't in include postage in their prices, whereas Atkinson's just does. Royal Mint, now the Royal Mint don't really have, I suppose this is where the data here might be somewhat slightly skewed. The Royal Mint don't really have a best value uh, Britannia option. They actually do have a best value sovereign option, which we'll talk about when we get to this section here, but they don't have a best value Britannia section. So this is based on buying just a gold Britannia from the Royal Mint. Very, very expensive. Hang on Metals used to be incredibly good value for money, but they're sitting kind of middle of the table for this. Bullion by post, I mean, let's talk Let's talk a little bit about Bullion by post. It's similar vein to the Royal Mint, Bullion by post are one of the, is probably the second biggest source that people will find on the internet before they make their first purchase. They'll probably Google buy gold and Bullion by post will be at the top of the list. They have done a very good job at ensuring that they are at the top of the list. Now they're a fantastic company in terms of customer service and getting the best uh, products out to you. They source a lot, they have a huge variety of different products and they have thousands and probably hundreds of thousands of very happy customers, but they're not always the cheapest. And that is something to bear in mind. They are very reputable, but they are not always the cheapest. Interestingly, they are cheapest of all the dealers for 
uh, and by some margin as well, for kilo silver bars. Now, this was in a pre-owned silver bar section where one presumes because the entire price, and this I did the whole checkout thing before even clicking that final button, so there was no VAT added. This was just the premium for a secondhand silver bar, which is interesting. So that's kind of cool. We can get a lower than 20% margin on silver from a dealer, which is not often heard of. Uh, Baird & Co is the last one to talk about now. Baird & Co are an interesting entity in that they're not really necessarily considered as a mainstream dealer, but they are one of the best out there for just having really cheap bits of uh, of new silver. So if you were to look to, look to buy just a big 100-ounce bar, they're often quite well priced. But I did find it interesting that at the moment their kilo silver bars are not competitively priced compared with some of the other dealers. Of course, we've got this bullion by post here. Bit of a misnomer because that was the um, the pre-owned stuff, but you know they are not performing fantastic in that sense. So in terms of silver, we can see some big premiums here. Now the question here is going to be around capital gains and the exemption status of Britannia. So we see here that Charles and Atkinson's very close in their comparison. This is for a tube of twenty-five rather than just one singular Britannia, um, and they're. The price comparisons there are just under £700, including the VAT. So we can take 20% off the VAT and we can see the premiums there of 15 to 16%. Now, with premiums of 20% taken off for the kilo silver bars, Atkinson's have just a premium of 3% on this. So that is, I think, quite interesting. You certainly see the difference here. And if capital gains is a thing that you're worried about, fine. But if you just want to get hold of some silver and try and ride that, uh, ride that sort of premium range then perhaps you're better off buying a kilo bar. And yes, you might have to pay some capital gains taxes on it down the line, but only if you make an exorbitant amount of money. Uh, even for £3,000, which is the coming tax year's threshold, you know, you'd know, you have to have, if you made £100 a bar, you'd have to have 30 of those one kilo bars. That's quite a lot to uh, to think about and factor in. So I don't feel like capital gains t ex exemption status is a huge deal, but it is seen as a huge deal by a lot of people out there. Um, you should do a lot of research on that. So very interesting, I think, to see this. And we'll talk about the elephant in the room here that is the Royal Mint. And I've never really understood this. And it, it is just a bit of a misnomer, really. The Royal Mint is the most expensive out there of all the places, which makes no sense because, of course, for new products, the um, the dealers will buy the Britannias and the Sovereigns from the Mint and then sell them off. Um, the fact that the Mint now have best value Sovereigns, this is their best value Sovereign price for £459, 8.3% premium, when... You can see the premiums here from other dealers, including Hat Guard Metals, who are, who are in my opinion, the only place that you can get the best price uh, sovereigns from. They are fantastic in their dealings and prices, with the perhaps exception of the Silver Forum, where things are very, very cheap right now. Um, but the Raw Mint, what a joke, absolute joke. And I hope this video goes to show that there are uh, plenty of other options out there for people instead of the Raw Mint. I know there was um, there were a few people actually last week, coincidentally, that emailed me about buying that they bought stuff from the Raw Mint because they'd seen some of my videos of the Royally Screwed series and they were worried that they'd been um, they'd been sort of ripped off. And it turns out they just bought bullion. And whilst yes, they have been inverted commas ripped off by the fact that they've paid more than they had to, they haven't been like fleeced by some of the exorbitant prices that the Raw Mint offers for some of their historic coins, which is thankfully nice to see. But again, don't buy from the Raw Mint. The only exception of buying bullion from the Royal Mint is if they have got an offer on or they've got something in a unique silver, uh, like a unique blister card. I've done that before myself. You know, sometimes they have that as an exclusive thing just from them. And if you want it in the blister card, then that's realistically the only option that you can get. Or if there's a product that they have that you can't get anywhere else, then yeah, maybe you can theoretically look to buy from it. But I think we can all agree that the Royal Mint's pricing is not as good as it could be. So that is my price comparison for bullion buying from a bullion dealer. I hope that's been of interest to all of you out there and let me know if you enjoy this kind of content and if there's something like this you'd like me to do or if there's other dealers out there that you use that you'd like to price comparison against then please do let me know by commenting down below and if you're not subscribed to my channel then make sure that you subscribe by hitting that little subscribe button and the alarm bell. Otherwise that's it from me we'll see you on the next video. As always please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.